Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be giving you a homeschooling update. I really have been late at making like my monthly updates, but I'm going to try my best to recap you on everything that has happened in our homeschool, uh, where we are at in our curriculum, our curriculum progress, um, how many weeks we have left in our homeschool. I am really doing countdown here in my homeschool. I'm so excited. The kiddos are excited. Um, you guys, this mama, I am done. I am ready for summer, but I'm trying my best to hold on and to really end off our homeschooling year strong. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three kiddos. I have a sixth grader, a kindergartner, and a pre-K for this homeschooling year. So you guys, um, let me go ahead and just get you uh, caught up with everything that has happened in our homeschool. First and foremost, you guys, I have been so inconsistent in creating like YouTube videos uh, lately. A lot of the videos you guys have been watching has been like my backstock videos and I don't have any more like uh, backstock videos that I can like publish. So I have really been finding myself being like more inconsistent on YouTube than I have been uh, in the past. I really wanna, you know, get back to being more consistent in making videos and sharing things with you guys. But I will be honest, my homeschool and my home has been taking precedence over me actually making YouTube videos, which I always said that to myself about my YouTube channel is when things get busy in my home, unfortunately, this is like the first thing I tend to drop. So as we are wrapping up the homeschooling year, I'm going to try my best to at least post one video a week until we get to like um, May and then I can start, you know, ramping up my videos and making like my reviews and things like that uh, because our homeschooling year will be finished. So um, I just want to let you know that's probably why you haven't seen me that much uh, this month on my channel and I've been a little bit more inconsistent. So I'm going to try my best to, you know, uh, get it together, but um, it is what it is. Uh, uh, this month, I have had a lot of doctor's appointments, not only for myself, but for the kiddos. It's like every week someone has to go to the doctors, the orthodontist, I'm going to the dentist. I mean, I have been everywhere, but I'm happy that, you know, everyone is well, everyone is in good health. So um, it is what it is when it comes to like that type of hustle and bustle. So as far as like our homeschool goes, you guys, we have only five more weeks to complete off our homeschooling year. And I'm really, really excited. I'm excited for all of my kiddos. We really have been just like going slow and steady in our homeschool. Um, it's been a lot of days that I just don't want to homeschool to really be honest. Like uh, I see the weather is getting warmer and I just want to go outside, but I'm trying to remain consistent. And I'm trying to main, uh, remain diligent in our homeschooling studies. And um, as tempting as it is to just drop everything, um, I really have been finding ways to be more flexible in our homeschool, but still getting all of our work done. So um, like I said before, I have we have five more weeks left to end off our school year. Our tentative end date is May 17th. And we may finish a little bit early, but that's just like where I have a, a schedule to end off. The last Last week of our homeschool is really dedicated for like uh, my oldest daughter's like final exams and for her to do her standardized testing uh, this homeschooling year. As far as my littles uh, for the end of their year, uh, the only thing I have planned for them is that since this is my middle daughter's kindergarten year, I do want to do like some type of graduation party for her. Um, I already bought her cap and gown and her little kindergarten diploma. I want to make sure, you know, I take those pictures and things like that with her. So uh, the those are like some of like the sentimental things I'm going to be doing on that like last week of May 17th to end off our school year. So um, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see her in her little cap and gown, you guys. Um, and I did, I went ahead and I picked the same color that my oldest daughter wore on her kindergarten graduation, which was blue. So um, all of my kiddos, when they graduate kindergarten, they're going to wear blue. That's going to be like our homeschool color. So, or one of our homeschool colors, I should say, but I'm really, really excited about that. But um, like I said before, I'm really just trying to find a good balance this month uh, as we complete off our homeschool year from getting our academics done versus still, you know, living life and enjoying the season. This winter, you guys, we was cooped up in the house and it's just so nice to be outside. Um, 
So that's really what we've been doing is we've been going outside a lot. I've been taking homeschooling outside too. Um, this month, I do have some goals to take like our homeschool out to like the park. I want us to go to the library. I really want us to get out of this homeschool room and hopefully getting out of like our mundane routines and, you know, at least sitting out on our patio or sitting out on the lawn on the grass or doing things like that will really shake up our homeschool and keep us motivated to finish off our year strong. Um, so yeah, um, you guys like the other day I was really talking with my mom and I was just telling her like how I was feeling about, you know, really just being burnt out and like trying not to get to the point where I'm just wanting to throw in a towel and just really talking to her about that. And, you know, my mom, she made some really good points and she gave me some really good advice, uh, when it came to like our curriculum progress. And she was really just letting me know, you know, you don't want to just rush through lessons just to say, oh yeah, I completed this book. You still want to ensure that you know you guys are uh learning and gaining knowledge and not just checking off a checklist and you know when I took that advice from my mom and I really listened to what she was saying as far as like giving me motivation and encouragement to end off my homeschooling year it really allowed me to make like realistic goals and how we're going to finish off our homeschool year and be comfortable in knowing that if some of our curricula does get spilled over into the next homeschooling year and or a little bit during summer, that it's perfectly fine. I still need to remain focused on um, not just finishing a piece of curriculum to say I finished it, but actually to see the knowledge gained and to make sure that we are still, uh, I guess, enjoying that experience when it comes to learning. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So now that we're talking about that, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get into like our curriculum progress and curriculum update for each of my kiddos and where everyone's at. We're going to go ahead and start off with like my sixth grader. I'm going to let you know where we're at in each pieces of curriculum, what we have finished and um, like my goals for the end of the school year. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into my kinder and my pre-K or as well as their curriculum progress. Okay, you guys, for my sixth grader, we have actually already completed all of the math that I wanted to complete for her for this homeschooling year. We have completed her primary math, which was math UC Zeta, and we started math UC pre-algebra again in January, and she's doing pretty good with this uh, pre-algebra. I'm going to be completely honest. We have had a few hiccups with this where I had to extend the lessons and really a slow some concepts down for her to hone them in but overall she's doing really really well pre-algebra has been stretching me as the homeschooling mom because I feel like out of all the math she's done I haven't been this hands-on with her with math in a long time probably like third grade was the last time I was this hands-on with her but she is learning. She's gaining the concepts. I'm really relying on my instructor's manual. And um, like I said before, I do believe this is going to be like the last level of math you see I am going to do because I need something that's going to be a little bit less hands-on with me. Uh, but for right now, since math is my stronger subject, I am okay with continuing with pre-algebra with math you see. So uh, right now she is actually almost completed with lesson 10. And I really foresee us finishing uh, up to lesson 14 because we have five weeks remaining. She completes about a lesson every week and a half. So I really see us being at the halfway point of Matthew C. Pre-Algebra, which I'm really, really excited for this girl. She's doing so good and she's really, really rocking it. So um, in math, we're really ahead for her, which I'm really excited about. Time is on our side. Now, as far as her supplemental maths, um, this year, my sixth grader also did Oak Meadows Math 6 as far as... Um, a supplement and review and practice to really uh, allow her to have like that spiral review because math you see is a mastery based program and Oak Meadows math is has the spiral review she's able to really get the best of both worlds and I wanted her to I wanted to ensure she did have that review because she is going to be uh, tested at the end of the year and I really didn't want her to forget any concepts so uh, right now in Oak Meadows math we're on week 34 we have five more weeks left of school so she's going to be finished with this at the end of April. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, to really be honest, like I said, she is doing so well in this one because it's just a review. All the concepts in here, she already knew. So uh, she's definitely going to have her Oak Meadows Math 6 completed by the end of the school year. Now, as far as her Oak Meadows English and our Oak Meadows Ancient Civilizations, we are on week 30 right now. And I was kind of nervous because I was like, oh man, we're on week 30. 
beauty um we're about to go into uh the mayan civilizations with oak meadow and i was just like nervous like oh man it's 36 weeks of this program like i don't have enough weeks of the year are we going to be able to finish this however you guys when i looked at the back of like the oak meadows the last two lessons the lesson 35 is a geography review lesson and lesson 36 is her final exam review lesson so i was able to like look at what it was requiring of her for those last two weeks of um the oak meadows ancient civilizations in english and i was like you know what we really can break up the review for one day and then her final exam for her english and her ancient civilizations in another day so technically we would be able to complete those two lessons in two days because of how simple they were so we're right on track to complete uh oak meadow and i'm really excited about that i'm excited about the end of oak meadows ancient civilizations in english because we're going into um early explorers we're going into uh, mayans she's going to have a really cool geography review right now she's working on like this big life-size um world map and she's learning you know longitude latitude all those different things within geography to really end off um this curricula and it's really really cool so i'm really excited about that and we're going to continue to truck along if we don't get to our end point the way i really wanted to do i definitely think i would just go ahead and pause it and we'll finish off whatever we didn't complete in summer if we don't complete this and i'm not going to stress myself out about it but we are on track to complete it so i'm excited about that the last novel she's written this school year is the ugly one and it's about a young girl in a uh, Incan village who has a scar and it really talks about her story so I'm excited for her to read this last book and um, she's going to be doing a few projects with this last novel study in her Oak Meadows ancient civilizations in um, English so that is uh, Oak Meadow for us for the remaining of the school year now as far as fix it grammar she's on week 30 right now so at the end of this week she will have fix it grammar uh, completely done and this is the book share con the book four um you guys i'm going to be completely honest um she's done really really well with fix a grammar i think it's only been maybe two times she actually had a question other than that she's just like breezing through this a uh, grammar is really her strong point grammar writing english so um yeah so i'm excited we're going to have this done and this was a great uh addition for like that review and grammar practice even though oak meadow does have grammar in it it's more of a mastery style where one week she'll go over like verb tenses one week she'll go over punctuation situation i do like for her to have again that review that spiral review where she's being able to uh practice on all of the um aspects of grammar weekly now for IEW structure and style, you guys, uh, we are on week nine right now. My goal is for us to uh, be at the halfway point, which is week 12. So we're right on track to finish or not to finish to be at our stopping point for IEW structure and style. Um, like I said before, in my curriculum picks video for seventh grade, I think I'm really still trying to decide if I want to finish this off in the summer and or take it into this next school year. Um, I don't know when I come out with my video with my summer homeschooling plans i will go ahead and make like my final decisions as far as what we are going to do as far as iew um i really love iew guys uh this is our second year doing iew and um i think my only hesitation about not completing iew in the summer is i think i want her to do the 2b book i want her to have like a full years like the middle school years underneath of her belt so uh if we are to finish this over the summer we will be able to go just straight into 2b and work on that in her seventh grade year and i think that's like one of my goals uh for her i'm not too sure so that's like what is my hesitation on whether we're gonna this is gonna go into the summer and or next homeschooling year i'm still trying to figure that portion out but other than that we are at our goal when it comes to um, IEW uh, structure and style level 1B. And I'm really excited about that. Our last novel or read aloud for our homeschooling year is Tristan Strong Punches a Hole in the Sky. 
we really have been enjoying this. I have been really slacking this semester on like just our fun read alouds uh, with me and my oldest. And I was so happy when we picked this one up. Um, it has been so good. Our last read aloud we did was PSB 11 and that was a good one too. So we're gonna end off the homeschooling year with a good book. And uh, like I said before, when we take our homeschool outside, these are the things that we do outside. We do like our um, read alouds outside. We do like our art. Uh, we do some of our history outside. So these are the things I definitely wanna ensure we're doing. The things that really bring us joy in our homeschool so I'm excited to finish off the homeschooling year with this we are also doing the um, literature guide from Rachel from where you learned that on Tristan strong too it's really just a great addition I like the um, links that she has and the discussions that we're having with this book uh, it's been really really great so as far as science for my sixth grader we have been working in exploring apologias exploring creation uh with physics and she right now is at the halfway point i think we're a little bit more than the halfway point we're on lesson 10 i believe yeah we're on lesson 10 and it's 14 lessons so um hopefully we have this finished she's completing about a lesson a week um so hopefully if we continue with that same track we will have this completed i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys um i have been really happy with this curriculum um it really has surprised me. I like the independence that my daughter is able to do in this apology, exploring creation and physics. Um, I do come with her and I do the labs with her and um, we listen to the audible book when uh, we're listening to the readings. But for the most part, she's able to do some of the experiments on her own. She's able to do the reading, the questions, the note taking, all of that. And um, I really like the uh, confidence that it has been building with her, especially when it comes to like, note taking and study skills i've been using like the what you remember section at the end of each unit as like her like test or quiz uh, to see how much she has retained at the end of the chapters and she's doing really really well so i'm happy with this one and i'm really really surprised and we again uh started this in when did we start this i really believe we didn't really fully start it until like january i just can't believe we're already like way past the halfway point and she's been really really killing it so um it's been going okay and I really I think she likes it too at least that's what she's told me so um yeah that is science so as far as everything goes we are like we have exactly five five to four weeks left in like all of our bigger things for my sixth grader now as far as my littles my kindergartner um she actually finished uh kindergarten math with confidence at the I think it was like the second to the last week of March and we already started first grade math with confidence we're on week three and I just been taking my time we even have been doing like the enrichment lessons and we've been having so much fun um, I made a mistake and I forgot to check out the books from the library so I recently picked them up so we have to go over like three of the picture books to kind of like catch up because we wasn't reading them with the week and um, I'm really really excited about uh, again math with confidence I really love this curriculum you guys um, and going into first grade it's just amazing to see those skills that she has learned that has been solidified from kindergarten math with confidence and how it's just like giving her like that spiral review and it's really allowing me as we have started this first grade math with confidence to see all of those skills that she has retained and I really have been loving it so um yeah math with confidence we finished her kindergarten book and we're on to first grade now as far as her supplemental math we have done math you see primer as well and we're not we're, I don't think we're going to finish this by the end of the school year. Right now, we're on lesson 21, and there's 30 lessons in um, Math UC Primer. So what I'm going to do is this. We're just going to go ahead and finish Math UC Primer over the summer for her. This, at this point, is all review from the Kindergarten Math with Confidence. And I love her being able to get a different way of learning the same math concept she learned, but she's using the blocks and she loves this uh, book, you guys. She calls it her block math book. And um, I just love how she's able to take like, again, those same concepts that she's learned in kindergarten math with confidence and kind of like learn it in another way. So um, I love the amount of practice that she has as far as writing her numbers. And she's doing great with writing all of her numbers and um, adding and subtracting. So this this has been a great like supplement in a review a lot of you guys ask me how do I do two math programs uh, with her for the most part she does both 
uh, Math with Confidence and Primer on the same day back to back. She loves math. She does really, really well with it because uh, Matthew or Math with Confidence is only a four day week program. Um, on our fifth day in our homeschool, it's typically like our like review day for her. And that's when she'll do only Math with Confidence. We'll uh, review her all about reading uh, green cards and then we'll read uh, like reader is like her Friday routine. So that's how I'm really able to like complete or do two maths with her. And I love that. So um, that's where she's at when it comes to her math. Um, and as far as her fonts and uh, instructions and everything like that, she's still doing really, really good, you guys. Um, I'm really, really proud of her. So um, we are not at the point where I want it to be as like my halfway point goal. I think we're on lesson, I think we're on lesson 14 when it comes to all about reading and I'm perfectly fine with that. She definitely has made a lot of progress. I'm seeing her be more fluent uh, when it comes to her reading and um, she's doing well. As far as my um, middle daughter, uh, it's so funny, you guys. Uh, we recently went to her speech evaluation and I was so excited to see if she was going to be able to graduate speech. However, they were unable to do her speech evaluation because she failed the vision test. And I'm not surprised because um, I wear glasses and contacts. My husband wears glasses and contacts, but I was just surprised that uh, one of my kiddos, another one of my kiddos is probably going to need glasses. So... Uh, I'm not going to be able to get the results as far as like her speech and her progress until the upcoming homeschool year, which is August. So uh, we just have to kind of like wait and see um, as far as how she's going to be doing because they didn't have any more slots um, before the end of this school year to uh, redo her test after she, you know, gets her vision, her a full vision exam and things like that, which is perfectly fine. But um, I'm still happy because um, we still see progress the speech therapist um they created a new IEP for her and it's really not many goals on there for her she's really just working on articulation and the um I guess the smoothness of her speech as far as uh saying like longer words uh the fluency and things like that but um other than that uh, she's doing so well and I'm really really proud of her now, as far as my pre-K or my pre-K, my preschooler, um, my youngest, she is four. She was three for a half of the year, four now. And um, she has worked this homeschooling year on the Get Ready for the Cold book. She's completed A and B, and we're more than halfway done with C. So at the end of our homeschooling year, I just want to complete uh, this Get or go for the coat C with her and uh, she loves this I really like how I use these books and I let her like just color and then she uses stickers I really didn't focus a lot on like the handwriting aspect of this book uh, when we first started it because she wasn't really good with her pen grip now she's really really doing good she knows how to write her first name right now I'm really proud of her she's been working hard when it comes to that but um we're gonna go ahead and finish this off and since she's doing better with her hand handwriting I probably will go ahead and let her do the handwriting writing portions in this towards the end of this um go for the code book C for her now um my last daughter she also completed her math she completed her preschool math at home we use JDA's preschooling math as well and we already started kindergarten math with confidence with her we're on week three with her too and you guys she's doing so good with this program I'm so proud of her all of those skills she learned in preschool uh math at home is really helping her with the kindergarten and we're just moving forward and we're just going to go ahead and uh, work on this to the end of our school year. I, I'm definitely the person who still does math over the summer so all of my kiddos that's all we do over the summer typically is math and reading. So math again will just kind of spill over into the summer. Um, so she's on week three as well. Um, I I anticipate for my younger two, uh, we'll probably be at uh, either week seven or eight by the end of our um, homeschooling year, which is a good stopping point uh, for them. It's like we'll be completed with the first little quarter. So I'm really, really proud of them. Now, one thing I am going to be adding in with my younger two kiddos to end off our homeschooling year is... 
we're going to go ahead and start our sunlight science uh, with them because the first unit is on ants and you know the insects and the bugs is out and I really think that this will be a fun unit to uh, end off our homeschooling year with um, because uh, we'll be able to do like all the fun experiments when it comes with the ants and things like that and um, we can get outside we can get like messy and things like that with my uh, younger two so I'm really really excited it's exactly five weeks for the ants we have five weeks to end off our homeschooling a uh, year so I really feel like this is a unit that will be attainable and then uh, we'll pick this back up when our school year starts up so uh, that is like my goal for them so um, that is really everything when it comes to like my curriculum progress and things like that with all of my kiddos um, we're just going to like take my time and like I said I'm just really going to take my mom's advice and focus on learning versus checking. <laughs> uh, my goals to finish off my homeschool year is really to be continue to be consistent in like my morning routine and uh, getting up uh, because I really notice I do set the tone for my household and when I'm dragging in the morning, you guys, uh, the whole house is dragging. So I'm going to try my best to remain consistent in that. Um, I'm going to really do my best to meal plan and meal prep these last, at least for these last five weeks. When we get into summer, you know, I think I'll just, you know, lay low a little bit more when it comes to the meal prepping. But uh, since I'm really focused on uh, finishing off our homeschooling year strong, I'm going to put more emphasis on like meal prepping, uh, even some breakfast and some dinners to really allow us to be able to have smooth transitions when it comes to like our homeschooling time. Um, I'm going to focus on getting us outside and out of this homeschool room, like I said before, uh, really to get us out of our mundane routine and for us to continue to be, I guess, uh, focused and refreshed. Um, we are going to continue to keep our Fridays light and review uh, when we end off our homeschooling year. For the most part, like you've seen uh, on Fridays, I just do like a review with my littles and for my oldest daughter order on Fridays at the time we typically go over any of like her papers anything that she has done she gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with me on Fridays and then she does like any type of enrichment or art project she has with her um, oak meadow and that's what we're going to focus on on Fridays um, I'm really not going to be doing like any new lessons or any new things that's going to be on Fridays Friday is going to be like a review and an enrichment day um, to really allow us to continue to like push forward so I really hope you guys are doing well in your homeschool. I hope this video wasn't too chatty. Um, you guys stay encouraged, be encouraged, stay consistent, um, and just really try your best to end off these homeschooling years uh, strong. Everybody, take my mom's advice. We're gonna focus on learning, not checking. <laughs> and as always, you guys, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.